Hello friends, this is Russian Torts here. It is currently almost 11 p.m. at night and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be setting up my new shrimp aquarium. As some of you may know, if you've been following my uh, channel, so far these red cherry shrimp right here, if you can see them, which I don't know if you can, but these red cherry shrimp have been housed in kind of an ugly yellow bucket underneath one of my desks. So. I never really paid attention to them. Um, because of that, I never really took care of them. They haven't seen a water change in probably two months. Out of the 11 original cherry shrimp that I got like four months ago, <laughs> eight survived, which I find amazing because I never did a water change. So I thought, now that the axolotls moved, I'm gonna move the cherry shrimp where the axolotl were in a proper aquarium. To do that, I obviously got my old five gallon that I used to keep my beta in. I bought some substrate. I got some fluval stratum from the pet store, which as you can see is quite the expensive substrate, but because I work at the pet store I got this for $10, uh, thank you for that. So that's pretty good, I got it at cost. I got the 8 red chair shrimp as you can see, and if you followed my last video, I got the 4 marimo moss balls as well as the 2 sword plants that were in with the chair shrimp as well which are also doing really well for not being taken care of. I was really surprised, only a couple dead leaves, I trimmed those off. I realized that the plant is actually two plants which I could take apart and that's gonna look amazing in there and it's gonna grow really well with the stratum. So right here next to my bed is where the cherry shrimp are gonna sit. This is their new five gallon aquarium which is actually quite old but it's gonna do the trick. I tested that it holds water, and it does, which is why it's wet. The lamp on there is the Fluval PCL13, or whatever it's called. They're discontinued light, but they work wonders for growing plants in small aquariums. So that, combined with the Fluval Stratum, I think is going to do a really good job to growing the plants in there. So the first step to setting up this aquarium is going to be the substrate. So with the Fluval Stratum right here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to wash the substrate a little bit. Um, just to get the surface dust off. It is a very light substrate and it is going to color the water so be prepared to have your aquarium uh, sitting for um, probably up to a day to let all the dust settle anyways but to reduce the amount of uh, setting that, settling that the water needs it's a good idea to wash this. In a small aquarium such as a five gallon you can wash the substrate in the aquarium. It's not a great idea, it's always a bad idea to wash it in a separate bucket. However, I don't have any clean buckets right now that I can wash this in. So I'm gonna add the stratum to the aquarium and then I'm gonna wash it while it's in the aquarium. So here's the open bag of stratum. As you can see, it's these kind of round pebbles and they're uh, really light and they break apart fairly easily as well. Um, they're a good substrate for shrimp because they will uh, lower your pH um, and uh, that's always good for shrimp, especially if you have pretty hard tap water. Um, and the shrimp can easily roll around the substrate in their little uh, hands. I know they're not called hands, but I have no clue what they're called. And it makes it easier for them to eat off the substrate. So I'm going to add this whole bag of fluval stratum into my five gallon. I hope I got enough. As you can see, that seems like a pretty decent substrate depth for planting the plants, which is important. Because it is such a light substrate, it's going to be a pain to plant the plants, but I'll worry about that when I get there. Next up, I'm going to wash the substrate, so I will be right back. Now that you've uh, washed your substrate, or that I've washed my substrate, it's a good idea to add any decorations you want to add next. It's just a lot easier to do this while the water is not in the enclosure yet. So for me that means I'm going to add the plants and I'm going to add little filter I want to use. While sponge filters are the best idea for shrimp, um, I currently do not have an air pump that I'm not using, so I can't use the sponge filter. So instead I'm going to be using this small internal filter. Usually has a piece of sponge right there. I've replaced that with some ceramic uh, balls to uh, add as a filter media. So yeah, this is going to go in one corner and the plants are going to go in the aquarium as well. So as you can see, I have added the plants and the filter for now. So two little swords and the four moss balls. Now there's no water in this aquarium yet, so everything looks great right now. Once I add the water, it's going to look a little bit different. You'll see in a second. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add tap water, treat it, uh, let the filter run, and then I'm going to have to wait until tomorrow morning until I can continue. But you guys, for you guys, it will be just a second. So I'll add some tap water and I'll show you guys what it looks like then. 
when you add the tap water you want to make sure you disturb the substrate as little as possible so something you can do is use a little dish use a little dish like this however that's actually too big to use my five gallons so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pour the water on top of the filter so I don't disturb the gravel alright so now I have completed it. pretty much everything I'm going to achieve today I filled the aquarium with uh, tap water I've treated the tap water with water conditioner and now I'm just going to let this water settle a little bit. It's not as cloudy as I thought it would be. The water is actually surprisingly clear and not as murky as I had thought, but that's a good thing. So now I'm just going to turn off the lights, wait throughout the night, and tomorrow, so in like one second for you guys, I'm going to add the shrimp. Until then, the shrimp are just going to hang out in this little aquarium right here. It's uh, not a lot of water, but I think they should be fine to hang out in there for 12 hours. Have a little plant in there so they have something to nibble on. And tomorrow they will be added to their new aquarium. So, now that it is the next morning, it is time to now add the shrimp. As you can see, the sword on the left is not really complying in my efforts. It has been uprooting itself for the last 20 minutes and I finally managed to get it stuck in the stratum we'll see for how long this lasts but otherwise everything's looking pretty good so let's start adding the shrimp so here are all the shrimp still doing well in their container like I said before it's not a lot of water but for overnight shrimp don't use a lot of oxygen and they don't produce a lot of waste so it's fine so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna slowly acclimate them what people usually do with shrimp is drip acclimation However, cherry shrimp are a little tougher, so I'm just going to use the, do the regular acclimation that you do with fish. So I'm just going to add some water from the fish tank, wait, add some water, wait, and so on. So let's get started with that. To do this, I'm just going to have a little airline tubing run from the aquarium down to where the shrimp are. And I'm going to add about, you know, like one-tenth of the water that the shrimp have, wait for ten minutes, and repeat this step a couple of times. I'm not going to show you guys all of that because it's a little bit boring. I'll show you when I add the shrimp next. Now that the shrimp are acclimated, it's time to add them to their new home. So let's get started with that. When you add the shrimp, don't just pour in the water. You don't want the water from the old tank going in your aquarium. There's a little bit of poop in there. I don't necessarily need that. So I'm going to fish them out with this fish net, and you should probably be doing the same thing. And there you have it. The shrimp are now all successfully added to the aquarium. As you can see, the flow in there is a little strong. The shrimp are battling with that. Um, but I'll just have to get something that I'll place in front of the filter to reduce the flow. But for now, this is it. This is the new home for the red cherry shrimp. Obviously, as the water settles, this will also clear up and look a lot better. Right now, it's still very cloudy but that will not happen for a little bit from now. And as you can see that little cherry shrimp on the left there is struggling quite a lot with the flow, so I'll definitely have to turn down the water somehow. Um, the filter's already reduced to the minimum flow, but <laughs> this is just a little too much for the little guys. So thank you guys for watching. As always, it's greatly appreciated. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you're not subscribed already, I would recommend that to stay updated with uh, all of the pets. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.